Hello, cheapskaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. I'm in the kitchen this afternoon. I have some marinated chicken I bought for $4.40 marked down at Woolworths yesterday, and it's cooking at the moment. So I hope the sizzle isn't too much for you. It was too bulky to freeze in the containers, so I decided to open them and cook the meat, and then I'll package it into meal portions. Uh, we like this type of meat with uh, this type of chicken. It's marinated in the little, it was on sticks, and I just take it off the sticks. We like it in wraps with lettuce and cheese, or with salad for a quick meal, or even with fried rice. It goes really, really well. Anyway, while it's cooking, and I'll give it a stir today. I want it to caramelise, but I don't want to burn. Um, I want to talk to you about the cost of meat. All I've been hearing um, for months now, and I've been experiencing it too, is how much meat is going up and up and up, and how expensive even cheap meat is. And yes, it is going up almost every day. I can vouch for that. I was butcher last week, walked in and walked out without buying a thing. So it really pays to know whether what you're buying is a good deal or not. Sometimes those sale ads, they just look too good to be true. Sometimes they are. Or the markdowns just seem so amazing, like the $4.45. For the chicken, it was a good deal. Um, so in true, true cheapskates fashion, we go ahead and we stock up when that happens. And so we should. But how much are we really paying, especially when the meat is full of bones? Here are some facts for you. Bone in or skin on chicken, which is the breast or thigh fillet or whole chicken or the wings or drumsticks or Maryland pieces, is about one third waste. It's about 33% bone. Bone in red meat, like steaks, T-bones, whatever, or blade steak, um, chops, is about one fifth waste, about 20% waste. And minced beef, you think, well, there's no bone in it, but minced beef is about 20% fat, unless, of course, you pay the premium for the low-fat mince. You're paying for that waste. It's money in the bin unless you are getting a really great deal. So just how do you calculate the true price of the meat? Well, the calculation is quite easy. If I can do it, you can do it. For chicken, multiply by 1.5 to get the boneless or skinless price. For beef, multiply by 1.25 to get the boneless price. And for mince, you simply multiply, multiply the cost by 1.2 to account for the fat. And we usually drain the fat off. We don't eat it. So it is waste. Now, if you need to jot these figures down in your planner or your shopping list or add them as a note to your phone, because that's what I've done. I've added it as a note to my phone because I always have my phone with me and it has a calculator built in to save my tired brain. Do it. It's worth doing it. Add them to your shopping list. Put it in the front of your planner. Put it some on a card that you carry with you all the time. But keep it somewhere handy. Um, I'll give you an example. Um, store A has T-bone steak on sale for $7.99 a kilo, while Store B has Porterhouse on sale for $8.99 a kilo. Now, we know T-bone obviously has the bone. Porterhouse doesn't have the bone. Don't worry about the prices. I've just pulled them out of thin air for the purpose of the example. Um, the prices are, are really irrelevant in this example. But which one is the best buy? Now, you might think the T-bone at $7.99 a kilo. 
because initially it looks like it is cheaper. But don't forget you're paying for the bone and you can't eat the bone, so why should you pay for it? To find the best buy, whip out your handy dandy little calculator and do the sums. You multiply the price of the T-bone, which was $7.99 by 1.25 because it's a red meat, and that comes out to $9.99 a kilo to account for the cost of the bone. So the true price of that steak is $9.99 a kilo. It's surprising, isn't it? What a difference that calculation can make. Books, or, or rather the price tags, can really be deceiving. So the Porter House is actually the best buy with a saving of a dollar per kilo because there is no waste. Use the calculator on your phone to, carry, um, to work out the true cost of the meat you're buying or carry a little calculator with you and make sure that the sale price, if it's on sale, or the regular price, if it's not, is really going to give you more bang for your meat buck and that you are really paying the lowest price for the meat you are buying. Now, it's time to turn this chicken off. Get it out of there it goes. It's all done. And I'll let it cool so I can bag it up and get it in the freezer. And I think there'll be three meals by the looks of it in that frying pan. Um, three meals for four. Um, I added two packets of the markdown chicken. So it was um, $8.80 in total. And I did use my handy-dandy calculator before I came on. To work out the cost per meal and that brings it down to $2.93 a meal well below my $5 a meal meat budget and yes it is still $5 a meal for meat it has been for 20 years or more it works well having a $5 per meal meat budget when that's cool, it'll go in the freezer and we'll have fried rice or chicken wraps or chicken and salad sometime in the future. It'll be on the meal plan. Before I go, thank you for watching. Remember to put those equations into your final planner so you can whip them out when you're shopping to double check the price if you need to. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That was a bit of a begging please, wasn't it? But those thumbs up really help us and if you know someone who might like this video or who might like our channel or who might like to know about the cheapskates club there's a share link just click it and send them the link we don't harass them in any way it's entirely up to them if they do anything with that link and lastly most importantly if you're not already subscribed to our channel hit that subscribe button then click the bell and choose how often you want to be notified about new videos or when we go live. It helps our channel grow. And the bigger our channel is, the easier it is to find us. And that's really important because it means it's easier to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, but even in the crazy world that is 2022 with inflation and shortages and goodness only knows what else going on around us, it is absolutely still possible. Have a great week, everyone, and happy cheapskating.